All right, some of you have been asking about how to access the U.S. history book, the audio book, so I'm just going to take you through the steps on how to do that. Uh, if you go to the Social Studies Alliance site, um, of course, this is where we house all of our social studies uh, textbooks, information about online textbooks. Now I have set up uh, basically generic accounts for each one of the textbooks. Um, really what you should do is you should actually get in and uh, look at the setup directions and set your own book up for your course. But I have set some of these up um, with generic passwords and login. So uh, I'm going to click on U.S. History. And the username is U.S. History. And the password is online book. And I'm going to log in. Okay, this takes me to the page that has the student edition on it, and the student edition, of course, this is the, um, basically the print edition online, um, but then you also have the audiobook option, so that's what I'm going to show you now. So if I click on audiobook, I have to click launch. and this is going to give me the screen that allows me to, to navigate through the textbook. So um, I want to look at the era. Okay, let's say we're looking at Civil War and Reconstruction, and I'm going to select a chapter. We're going to look at the Union in Crisis, and then the section, uh, Rising Tide of Protest and Violence. Now this is going to give me the sections within that section, so these little subsections, and uh, Let's just go into why it matters. Um, we can download this or we can listen to it. Let's listen to it. Section 2. A rising tide of protest and violence. Why it matters. Americans had greeted the compromise of 1850 with relief. Okay, so you get the idea of how this works. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, but hopefully this will give you a, a, a start on how to let your kids access these these audiobooks. Thanks.